Hello, in this video we're going to look at how the shallow water equations can be linearised and hence we can find analytical solutions. These analytical solutions will be gravity waves. So I'm going to start by showing you the shallow water equations in component form. Here are the shallow water equations in uh, vector form from a few slides ago. Um, if you assume that the velocity vector is, is in components u and v, two components, and the Coriolis just has one component, it's in the, the other direction, um, then we can write uh, the uh, shallow water equations in component form, which is a, a tedious job, which I've, I've done here for you. And the, the reason I've done this is that then it makes it easier to linearise these equations. Um, li we've used linearised equations so we can find analytical solutions and so that we can analyse numerical methods. To linearise, we assume that the, the wind speed is small, um, that the Coriolis force is just in the vertical direction and it's uniform. Um, we assume that the, the height h is a, a, a mean height which is uniform in space and time and variations about that h prime. And because this h prime and u are small, then the product of small variables can be ignored. Um, and that's even if one or both are inside a differential, you still ignore the products of small variables. Um, for this linearization, we're going to ignore the um, height of the uh, underlying surface, the orography, and we're going to ignore diffusion. Um, so uh, pause the video and see if you could see what happens when you do this linearization. Um, see if you can uh, find expression. You need to find equations for. Uh, uv and h prime in terms of f uh, rather than omega, um, which should be significantly simpler. These are the linearised shallow water equations, rotating shallow water equations. So we now have rate of change equations for u, v, and h prime in terms of everything is now linear on this. So we've still got Coriolis and pressure gradients and the divergence. We can find analytical solutions to these equations. If we ignore Coriolis, ignore these two terms here, and we're also looking just in one dimension for this solution, um, these equations have wave-like solutions. These are gravity waves. Here are these solutions. Um, so we've got e to the i k x, waves in the x direction, e to the plus or minus a i k t times the square root of g h, so waves in time as well and the, uh, there's a scale between the velocity and the height, which is square root of gh. And these solutions hold for, for any wave number k and for any constant h. Um, so waves with wave number k oscillate in space with frequency k times the square root of gh, and the wave speed is the square root of gh. This means that gravity waves are not dispersive. The, um, the wave speed doesn't de depend on the wave number. In the next video, we're going to be looking at how to solve these um, linearised shallow water equations.